Hey everyone, it's Maxine here from Northumberland Zoo bringing you another Zoo News update. As you can see, the biggest news that I have at the moment is that we finally got snow. Um, so I've been out all morning getting photos and videos of the different animals in the snow. So I'm gonna put them together in a little compilation at the end of this video so you guys can enjoy them as well. Um, I think this is probably gonna be the only snow that we get this year. So I just wanted to make the most of it while it was here. Um, so if you're enjoying these Zoo News updates, please may I ask you to subscribe and like the videos. Um, obviously every subscription is going to help the zoo during this kind of lockdown because we're still closed at the moment. I want to keep doing these videos so that I can bring the zoo to you and you guys can still get to see the zoo even though we're in lockdown. Um, one of the things I realized that I hadn't done yet was I hadn't actually showed any of the videos of when the snow leopards actually moved in. Um, it was quite a big thing for us, as you can imagine, and uh, it was a very nerve-wracking time, so I probably didn't think about doing it at the time. But uh, I've still got all the shots of when the snow leopards actually got here, when we moved the crates in, when we unloaded them, um, and obviously the girls are really well settled in now. So uh, we're going to go into the snowy house here soon and uh, we're gonna get some close-ups with the girls and meet them properly. Um, we haven't announced their names yet, but we'll do that today. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys some really easily identical features of each of the girls so that you can identify them when you come here. Um, so we're meeting Charlotte down here. Uh, she's one of the keepers and she's gonna kind of show us a little bit about them and obviously describe their behaviors and their characters as well. Um, and then once we've done that, uh, bring on the snow animals. There's an animal transport company that we use called Specialist Wildlife Services. And when the snowies uh, were moved, they were part of a, uh, a multiple drop move. So uh, Big Cat Sanctuary had a young male that they were gonna actually send up to the Highland Wildlife Park to be with our two girls is mum. They picked up the mail uh, the day before, drove all the way from Kent up to the Highland Wildlife Park in Scotland, uh, dropped the mail off, then picked up our two girlies and uh, brought them to us. And then he had to get back to Exmoor by that night because he had uh, Wolverine as well that needed to be somewhere. Basically what they do is they just do multi-drops all the time between zoos. So they'll be having, you know, multiple different types of boxes in the back of their van with every type of animal in it. So in the back of this van was not just two snow leopards. So when they arrived it was all hands on deck. We got the um, we got our tractor and our JCB. We loaded the boxes up onto them. You want to hold this and I'll crates weighed so much okay. so one of the things that you do when you first get an animal in is you is you weigh the crate with the animal inside and that's so that you can get an, a, a good starting weight for your your animals because you know it's day one of you having that animal and it's a really good way of, of getting a, an idea of, of where you're starting at so the first thing we did was lift the crates up onto the scales uh, they came in around 120 kilos for the box so uh, it was so heavy with the cats inside. Once we unloaded the cats, we weighed the boxes again, and then we could figure out exactly how much each cat weighed. And they both came in around 24 kilos, so the weight was mainly just box. So we attached the boxes to the side of the snow leopard house uh, using uh, ratchet straps. 
Um, and that means so that when we lift the slide up to let the cats out, there's no risk of the box accidentally moving back and a gap being created so the cat could slip out. So um, the boxes are secured against the building um, for the cats to, to get let out. When we let the girls out, they were obviously a little bit sh shook up. Um, they've just been on a, like a five hour journey. They arrived on the Tuesday and we were having an open day on the Friday. Um, so they spent the first three days in their off-show den, um, curled up. And every time we went down there, they just were in the exact same position. Um, they had been getting up at nighttime and doing stuff. Food was going, you know, um, poop was appearing. But just whenever there was people around, they were just, yeah, not interested. So there would be, we had 24 hour CCTV on them. It, funnily enough, it wasn't until the Friday, which was our, our opening day, um, that was the day that they actually started coming out. So ever since that day, um, they've been out on show every single day in their den, in the on-show den, and they hardly ever go in the off-show den anymore now, so, which is really nice. So yeah, it was a massive relief. Obviously, it was a big project for us. It was the biggest project we had in a long time, and, and it was a success, and the girls have, are settling in great, and they're doing really well. Hey Charlotte. Hello. So this is Neva, and uh, she's one of the two Snow Leopard sisters we have here. Neva's just down here, and this is Carly up here. So we've just been doing a little bit of positive reinforcement with them, just so that they um, understand coming into the den was a really good idea, and it means I can then clean in there. Good girl. So are there any identifying features that you would look at Neva and you would be able to, to tell her apart from Carly? Yeah, so um, Neva actually has a genetic ocular condition and so her eyes are a little bit different to her sister's. Some days you can see it and other days you really can't. So it will just be one of those things you might be able to pick out, but in some lights you can't even tell. It doesn't affect her sight. The vets have had a good look at her when she was born up at Highland and they didn't think that it was really a problem for her. Uh, but it's something that she'll just live with and yeah, doesn't really affect her too much. So Charlotte's just got them locked in the off-show den at the moment. Um, so we need to do this when we need to service the on-show den. So this is the den that you guys can see when you come in um, to visit the Snow Leopards. Um, so we just put them in the off-show den temporarily um, while we sort out the on-show den. So when I came in, Charlotte was doing a little bit of uh, training with them. So um, yeah, this is just a normal daily thing for them. They, they know the routine now. They've been re really good. And as you can see, they take the food quite nicely as well. Um, so yeah, I would say they've settled in really, really well. Now, because of the genetic um, thing that Neva has with her eye, um, she's had like over half a dozen um, operations since she was born. She's obviously fine now because she's fully grown, but it's something that she'll always have. Um, so that's definitely one way that you can tell the girls apart when you come and visit them. So Carly's eyes are, are pretty much normal and Neva's aren't always pointing in the same direction, bless her. Um, just kind of fits in with the rest of the animals that we have here, like Frankie the one-eyed lemur, and we've got a Harris hawk that's got one eye as well. So, you know, we love them all the same, so it doesn't make any difference to us. Um, she's super sweet anyway. She'll come over and she'll roll over, and it's not something that you would imagine that a snow leopard would do, but, uh, yeah, she's pretty sweet. Good girl. <laughs> She's very gentle, isn't she? She is really good, yeah. We don't have to use the tongs, but it's just a little bit easier when you're doing, um, when you're kind of getting her to stand up on the mesh and stuff. Gives you that little bit of extra reach. Oh, 
many big phantoms. It'd be a grumpy girl. The girls are slowly starting to venture outside to come and get their food. Uh, Carly's just been out and nabbed a piece, so Neva's on the hunt now, trying to find something. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek down at the Snow Leopard house and what the, the daily routine of the Snow Leopards is uh, for our girls. And um, please uh, take the time now to enjoy these videos of all of our different animals in the snow, uh, enjoying it while it lasts. And we shall see you next week for our next Zoo News update. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do uh, support us and like this video. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you get a notification when the next Zoo News update comes out. Um, thank you very much and we'll see you next week.